somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, my luck. Bad guys? Got water? to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Oh, things from space. It's a bucket of water. If I had skis on, I could show those goons why I won the Spy Corps Freestyle Ski Jump Competition. Water, work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I wonder which way I should go. Which way should I go? Here goes. Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model box 1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. 
It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this World's Fair. Monkey, Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken, but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche up a Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. This is a rather cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then only when we're on a case. Right! says World's Fair Entrance. Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Although I'd rather be enjoying the quiet safety of skydiving, as long as it doesn't get me in touch with nature, without a parachute. The entrance is closed, and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings. But unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. It says, free photos. Hmm? Wow, 
Well, I'm certainly in disguise. Excellent! The photo's in place! Perfect! Waitress! Rudy! Carlton! Muriel! Nancy! Ross! Maurice! Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Here you are, kind sir, my ID card. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. The picture is incorrect on your ID card. It seems that this is one of your old ID cards, perhaps when you worked for a different company. I'm afraid I can only allow waitresses to go through the service entrance. I hope you understand. Waitress. I look ridiculous. With the photo in place, I can now make a new ID card. Here's my ID card. Well, that's great. Oh, I feel so bad for having to do this, sir. The picture is incorrect on your ID. It's an ID card with a... J there you go. That's my ID card. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm sorry, sir. This is the part of my job that I dislike so much. The picture is incorrect on your ID card. It seems that this is one of your old ID cards, perhaps from a previous job at a different company. I'm afraid I... Dentist. Frank. Ari. Dentist. Frank. Up. No. Dentist. France. It's off to the recycle bin for the photo already in the photo slot. That's not really my best son. Excellent! The photo's in place! Hmm, I already have an ID card. I don't really need two. I know! I'll just recycle the old card and keep this one instead. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Here 
sure you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess, it was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Maurice. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. Stir, stir, stir. That's a great looking oven. May I try it, please? Sorry, insurance regulations strictly prohibit the use of this oven by anyone other than a trained chef. You don't look anything like a chef. Someone's in the kitchen with Tyna. <laughs> ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ah, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the Smelly Evil Dog Bot Assembly instructions. I've created a 1000 to 1 scale, fully functioning Evil Dog Bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy! You're standing in it! Of course! You've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe! The means to my world domination! People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off, because it has no off switch! <sighs> yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair! So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche! Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur the Spy Fox, adieu! <laughs> Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. <laughs> if I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roach with this talk balloon. <laughs> La Roach's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. This gear must go somewhere in here. This gear is too small. This gear is too big to go there. I wonder where this gear goes. This gear is too small. This gear is too big to go there. This gear is too big to go there. I bet this loose gear is supposed to go somewhere. That did the trick. 
Well, I guess it's like they say, the tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Is this Plant World? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of LaRoche to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feat. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madame Ladybug. <laughs> what can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He delivered this mutant Venus flytrap to me instead of my rose. Now why do you suppose he would do that? I imagine it is because of his evil nature. Hmm, it's some kind of combination lock for this display cage. I'd better answer my spy watch. Please stand by. Spy Fox, an informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox out. I like applesauce, don't you? We don't have applesauce on the stick anymore, honey. It kept sliding off. Although that looks scrumptious, I think I'll pass right now. Do you know where I could get a rose for the nice ladybug? I noticed a rosy smell near the ice skating rink. Thank you. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? All he talked about was the botanical exhibit he was about to see at Plant World. Probably because the plants are shorter than he is. Stereo Sheep. I'm Doll, and I'm Lee. Hello, Doll. So nice to have you back where you belong. Something seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. 
the Cape Cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then, one fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention, and my assistants Goldie and Blow were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not lightly, no. Well, it's impossible to see the target. How about lending me your dark goggles? Since I don't have my lucky clear goggles, I need something to wear for my act. Even though these ones are so dark, I keep missing the target. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Hmm. Whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. must spend an enormous amount of money on evil dogbot food. That's the 1996 Big Pig Biathlon Cup, given to the couple who can play goat fish while ice dancing. It seems Mr. Big Pig has won every year since it began. I had no idea he was so graceful. Do you ever think about how many candles you could make if you melted the wax figures? Don't even joke about that! This is my profession you're talking about! It says 80 degrees. That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I can't imagine. go in. The Wax Museum is not open yet. Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. What's the best part of this job? I don't know. I never give it much thought. Thinking hurts the brain, laddie. I think I understand. Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me.
The door is locked. <coughs> Is it true that the word souvenir is from the French, meaning the act of remembering? Well, I don't really, eh... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I seem to have forgotten. What can you tell me about that trophy? You don't want to hear about that. Well, all right. If you... It was back in my younger days, as the masked chi bear. I used to cut up the ice as a famous ice skater. There, sir, you have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. That's not going to do me any good. Do you know what I wanted to be before I became a spy? No, Spy Fox. What did you want to be? A curtain salesman, but I could never get the hang of it. I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But, being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training, so I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform, and voila! The skates, with you in them, perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. I like these new blueberry-flavored blueprints. That's not going to do me any good. What else can you tell me about? Have you been giving massages for very long? Most of them are pretty short. That's good. Ouch! Oh yeah, your tension is just dissolving away. Here's where I keep... That's not going... That's not going to do me any good. That won't do me any... You seem a little bitter. The kids today have no memory of the great skaters. Remember Peggy Hamill and her camel belly lux? No, I don't. Neither do I. The nice ladybug would really like a rose. Do you think I could have one of yours to give her? I'm sorry, but I can only give out a rose when an ice skater performs a perfect single snow boot. I can gather information about the single snow boot ice skate move with this talk balloon. What do you know about the single snow boot ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the single snow boot as the masked she bear. In fact, 
That skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. That won't do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. You seem a little bitter. The kids today have no memory of the great skaters. Remember Peggy Hamill and her camel belly lux? No, I don't. Neither do I. That won't do me any good. That won't do me any good. That won't do me any good. I need ice skates. I don't want my tootsies to get cold. That's not going to do me any good. Here's where I keep my spy. Now I'm set to show off the moves I've learned in the Spy Ice Follies. That's not going to do me any good. This should do the trick. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck! Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant flytrap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the flytrap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. That won't do me any good. May I clone something? What shall we clone? Our paycheck. Bah! No, really. The cloning machine can only replicate food items. seem like a card that's down on his luck. <coughs> hmm. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil Dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there.
these rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. I can't see what that evil person ate. I need to be higher up to look over that bad guy's shoulder. The Achilles heel door is locked up tight. Wearing these rose-colored glasses all over the fair will give me a headache. That won't do me any good. <coughs> Say, Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Have you talked to your informant yet, Spy Fox? I have yet to get the candy apple or talk to the informant. How will I know who I'm talking to? Just get the candy apple. Big things come in small packages. Hmm, the candy apple. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but hmm. Monkey Penny, out. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. <laughs> There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I've got to split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. That looks delicious, but I'm not hungry right now. That's not going to do me any good. How do things stand, Spy Fox? Well, I need to get the off switch and the off switch activation code. Persistence is the key. You can do it, Spy Fox. That won't do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. A stealth back. How does it work? 
You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press reverse vac to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Ingenious, Professor Quack. I'd prefer those between two slices of bread, but when duty calls, It's the stealth back. Here's where my notes go. I... That's not going to do me any good. Go right in, Maurice. A roach must really be into Venus flight traps to keep one locked up in Plant World and one by his side. The door is locked. Now please stand by. How's life, Bifak? Well, I got the candy apple, but Agent Lenny gave me a code that's too small to read. Maybe it's too late to shape an opinion. Open your mind. Monkey Penny, out. Good thing I like riddles or this could be frustrating. Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. How's life, Bifax? Well, I got the candy apple, but Agent Lenny gave me a code that's too small to read. Maybe it's too late to shape an opinion. Open your mind. Monkey Penny, out. Good thing I like riddles or this could be frustrating. That won't do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. Spy heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Hmm. Light on the palate. Rough on the tummy. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? 
That's a one-shot camera like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time. But you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. The termite grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug-free, Professor Quack. How does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out of the way. It's good for one serious pulping. That's not something you want laying around the house. Not unless you're good friends with a carpenter. These blueprints are an acquired taste I haven't acquired yet. Here's where I keep my s <laughs> Just watch this spy heat the join up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place! Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. George Washington Cougar, an inventor who found 101 uses for gelatin. Gelatin sneakers, gelatin tires, and gelatin bricks. They don't last, but the inventions look cute when they wiggle. Ah, St. Joan of Bark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubblegum, gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. Bella a Buck, who worked hard for roaches' rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. Bert Barracuda, a successful songwriter who wrote such pop standards as Do You Know the Way to Swim Upstream? And my personal favorite, What's It All About Algae? Wolfgang Duck an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? I once printed these on exploding paper, but man, did those cause heartburn.
Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. Key four. Right in, Maurice. Stir, stir, stir. Ahem. Oh. oh, excuse me. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. You are too kind, too kind. Stir, stir, stir. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. I have to admit that at first I thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half-baked. But it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. Stir, stir, stir! I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. Stir, stir! I think you're going. That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Donnie Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. Look at that cargo. This is Walter Wireless reporting from Wii World. This car is my ticket to the Dream House. This is the only way to travel. things are starting to look up. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. 
I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. That refrigerator is in the way. This is Walter Wireless reporting from WeWork. I can't go there. Oh well, there was nothing good on anyway. Down is only half of the elevator's job. Now I can reach the upper floor. This button operates the elevator. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. This button opened that door. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Dottie Dash's location. I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? Close, but no banana. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Eureka! Astounding, there is a bathtub in the floor, and it looks deep. That closed the floor over the tub. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you in SpyCorp, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to SpyFox right away. Of course. The activation code is Apple Cherry Grape. Got it. Walter Wireless calling SpyFox. Please stand by. Come in, SpyFox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Apple Cherry Grape. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it.
and they refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. Dollar kids laughed at me. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. Ha <laughs> I am laughing. Ha <laughs> See, it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil dog will fully wow. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the turnstiles and conquering the world! The flytrap is locked in this display cage by this rather interesting lock. Please stand by. How's life, Spy Fox? Well, I got the candy apple, but Agent Lenny gave me a code that's too small to read. Maybe it's too late to shape an opinion. Open your mind. Monkey Penny, out. Good thing I like riddles, or this could be frustrating. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Apple Cherry Grape. <coughs> it's the off code for Cakes and pistachios. This thing really does tell you what you've eaten, but it won't let me in, so I guess I need to eat something else. Wearing these rose. Great. It's the leaf from Lenny the Informant. That won't do me any good. I can see a star, a square, and a circle on this leaf. With the right combination, this lock would be a snap. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious flytrap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that flytrap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose-tinted glasses. What a great way to view the fair! These binoculars work swell. It's fun to look at things close up.
there's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. <laughs> what a great way to view the fair. There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. These binoculars work swell. It's fun to look at things close up. There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. It's fun to look at things close up. See that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like pineapple right side up kick. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pineapple right side up kick. I just need to eat some pineapple right side up cake and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog pot. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food pineapple right side up cake. Do you have any pineapple right side up cake here? Nothing like that here. Only food on stick. You should try the Chateau La Roche restaurant. Try a restaurant, hmm? Is there anything you can tell me about Pineapple Right Side Up Cake? Try the restaurant. Okay, thank you. Right in, Maurice.
Can you prepare pineapple right side up cake? Why, I won the French Cooking Medal of Honor for my pineapple right side up cake. Well, of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pineapple right now. Can't you make it with the one pineapple you do have? Absolutely not. Good pineapple right side up cake must be made with exactly two pineapples. Here, you can take this one and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some pineapple right side up cake. Thanks, Chef. Two pineapples, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. You clone it? You got it. Got one, one, one two, clone it. I have this pineapple. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to clone it, doll. Very well, wait. You do the honors. No, after you, I insist. No, please, after you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do julienne fries? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Go right. Here you are. Two big, juicy pineapples. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical! They appear to be exactly alike! Perhaps they're related. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! Oh, thank you! My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot doll. Stir, stir, stir! What do you know about that? Pineapple right side up cake did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground thread screw that passes below the fair to the face of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil dogbot. When the one million tourists comes to the turnstile, my evil dogbot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dogbot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! Ha ha ha! Holy Roach, that is a good one. Huh? 
This button controls feeding time for those mutant Venus flytraps. I wouldn't want to be in the same room with them while they eat. I'm blinded by the light. I need something to shield my eyes. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I don't want that welder to see me. As long as that welder is looking over here, I won't be able to make it to that ladder before he sees me. What can I do to get those goggles? Hmm, that welder turns his back on the goggles every time something comes down the conveyor belt. I wonder if I can get him to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. It's my alarm deactivator. When the welder is looking over here, I don't... makes the conveyor belt go faster. I have the goggles. I believe these are yours, Kate Cod. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes! Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. where I keep my spy gadgets. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. UV rating 750. These should show me the light in a good way. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. Here's 
where I keep my... That won't do me any good. That won't do me any good. I've never seen so many flies before in my entire spy life. When that jar opens to feed those fly traps, they must really open wide. That won't do me any good. Those fly traps are a lot like the one I got from Platworld. That's not going to do me. This button controls feeding time for those mutant Venus fly traps. I wouldn't want to be in the same room with them while they eat. Here's where I keep my spy. That won't. That won't do me any good. Here's where I keep my spy. That's not going to do me any good. That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. That mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog box. I have the off switch. La Roche's evil scheme is crumbling. Soon, my diabolical plan. Will reach its fiendish fruition. I will be unstoppable. For who or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. Le Roach! Le Roach! Le Roach! I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It's quite an evil plan, no? <laughs> Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. It's the stealth back. That's not going to do me any good. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... A picture of La Roche. Hmm. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. Go right in. 
Oh, gracious me. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rise. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit-roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't... Oh, yes, it is. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Now, where are all those forks? Here's where I keep my... Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I'd better get this spit roasted boot bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a heel. It's only a matter of time now before I have La Roche's prince. <laughs> spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Now I'm almost ready to give La Roche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. A little tough, but still good. <laughs> Come to the kitchen with Ty. Let's give this a try, shall we? Like the old song says, a spoonful of La Roche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. That must be where I need to set the off switch activation code. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Apple cherry. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Apple Cherry Grape. That must be the on switch for the evil dog box. I bet my Aunt Beatrice sponge cake that that is the on switch for the evil dog box. I'm positive that that's the on switch for the evil dog box. Believe you me that that is where the off switch for the evil dog box goes. At last, the off switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Finally, the one million customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's hit it! I don't think this is a good sign. Hope La Roach has earthquake insurance. Dog bot, sit. What? Spy box! You called? LaRoche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. 
sun has not yet set. I should go in after it. Always buckle up. You almost caught that Napoleon LaRouche, Spy Fox. Once again, you've gone above and beyond the call of duty. Thank you, Chief. I present to you the Economy Size Award of Eternal Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty.
who's beyond reproach Gizmos and gadgets go When the bad guys come to call on him You know he'll even the score When times are uncertain and mischief's afoot And baddies are moving about The fox in the tux will give evil a boot Spy cars are coming to call Spy Fox! He's the guy with the moves and the smarts to solve every crime Spy Fox! He's the fox with the gadgets you know 